Hello. Okay. So I've kind of started a new project. Big surprise. A lot going on. Um, but I was watching a knit and crochet today episode on PBS on their create channel. And um, they were talking about combining knitting and crocheting, which is no big surprise. Usually it's crocheting is used for trims and edging and all that other stuff. But I believe it was a garment like a complete garment that was like half and half or two one third crocheting so I felt inspired to to start a new project so I have this yarn which is like a maroon with some pink going through and what looks like a brown maybe so I decided to make a top because I really want to make my a knitted top for myself or crocheted or whatever but something I can wear so what I did was I just start crocheting um, with the intent to make something you know like a top or something like that but nothing specific in mind so what I started knitting this or crocheting this this is just double crocheted after I started and got like significantly through this part I was thinking I should have put perhaps a different pattern on there but oh well um, it's just double crochet on top of a double crochet on top of double crochet so this is about 30 stitches across it's about 21 rows and what I've decided to do is to make this like a waistband on the top I've already started the second one not that far yet but I drew a little sketch after the fact of course um, of what I want the shirt to look like not the best at sketching drawing however you want to put it actually this is my first so this is it this is what the top will look like in the front so the maroon part that I've already done is like a waistband sort of under the bus and um, around the waist this is what it, I want it to look from look like on the side with a split on the side kind of a hippie woman so I have hips and you know all that stuff so I figure a split on the side will do some good so that it won't be straight cut so that's what I've decided so far that's what I've completed so far and what I also what I've decided to do is to use this pink on top of this striped yarn so the pink will actually be the part of the shirt that's the bust part as well as the part below the waistband that is striped so that's what I've decided to do um, the yarn that I'm using that I that I purchased for this actually I just bought the yarn with no particular project in mind but now that I have it it's Cascade yarn it's Cascade 220 don't know exactly what that means but okay it says with a size 7 you can get 5 stitches per inch and with a size 8 needle 4.5 stitches per inch so what I'm going to do after I finish the other band is um, pick up stitches on the side of here on the side of this double crochet piece of work so I'm going to pick up stitches here for the bus and complete the top part and then I'm going to pick up stitches on the bottom for the rest of the t uh, blouse shirt top okay so that's what I've been working on 